and good morning. Welcome to Our Gray Health Vlogs. I am getting ready for my day. And here's the situation. I've been telling you guys about how I make piles, and I really, really do. So, and I get distracted in the mornings. I'm about to jump in the shower because I found myself starting to like do some other stuff before I'm ready for the day. And remember, that's, my, that's one of my downfalls. I start doing something, and then before I know it, it's like 9.30, I still haven't showered, I'm still not ready for the day. And to, for me to get ready for the day doesn't take me more than like, maybe, it doesn't take me that long. Did you hear him? 30 to 45 minutes-ish. Like if I dry my hair, yes, that takes longer. But I start making piles. But in my defense, yesterday, the reason I had this one, well, that's not even true. I'm not even gonna start lying. So I have this pile right here, and part of the pile I have already moved to over by the kitchen table. Here's the rest of that pile. My idea was yesterday to go through the pile before today, right? But then we unexpectedly had to switch where we were having Father's Day at because my parents' house didn't have electricity, and which is totally fine, but I thought, well, let me just put everything over in the corner over there and by the couch, and then when um, after my folks and my, my sister and all of them leave, and in between Carrie and them coming over, I'll, I'll get all that straightened up. Well, I didn't. And so then this morning, after Marvin left, I was like, oh, let me move this pile over and see and pack up for work. Stop. That's my problem. I'm not ready for work. I'm not ready like dressed and showered and all that kind of stuff. So I'm not supposed to do any of that because I promise you, I will start out by like packing my bag for work, then I'll, I'll move over to finishing this, and then I'll move over to finishing that, and before you know it, it's like 9, 30, 10 o'clock, and I still haven't showered, still haven't gotten ready for the day, and then I start getting ready for the day, and for whatever reason, when if I wait that long, I take longer to get ready for the day. I don't know why. So, my, I said to myself, self, Lisa, stop. Go take a shower, go get ready for the day, then tackle all these things. Because worst case scenario, if I need to skedaddle for whatever reason and get out of the house quickly, I can. But I can't do that if I'm not dressed and ready to go. So um, yeah, I could like get dressed, ready for the day, and then if something, yeah, I could start, you know, piddling with all this kind of stuff. And if something came up, then I could go, oh shoot, and then just throw everything into a bag or something and head out the door. I don't know. It's just kind of one of those things where it's like, ah, I don't know why I do that to myself. And then I get frustrated with myself. So this morning I stopped and I said to, you know, I said to myself, I said, stop, get on track, get your shower by 7.30. And then you can mess with all the stuff. Am I the only one who's texting me now? Oh, Kennedy. That's my granddaughter. I gotta answer that one. I'm ready for work now. So I'm gonna head to the office. I'm gonna probably stop by the square and snap a pic of the um, coffee shop that's there just to kind of encourage folks to go check it out. I don't know if I'm gonna get a hot chocolate this morning or not. I mean, I kinda want one, but also I know I need to cut back. And I've been doing my sit-ups and push-ups, but that is not enough the small amount of sit-ups and push-ups I'm doing is not enough to get in shape, girl. I need to cut back on the hot chocolate. And that's hard because I love hot chocolate, I really do. So I need to cut back on the hot chocolate and maybe do more activity. And yeah, so anyway, I am gonna head to the office. I've got a couple clients I'm working today. I don't really have any appointments or anything at this time, but uh, I might have one later this afternoon because one of my clients just sent me some houses she wants to go see, so maybe we'll go look at those today. But other than that, it's gonna be an awesome day. Marvin is supposed to go do that homeless, um, homeless uh, youth count in Dallas from like eight to 11 p.m. He's with a group of people, so he's not by himself. But, oh, let me show you. We packed up, the, the ladies at church had done this several months ago, and in fact, I don't even know how many months ago, but, Oops. There we go. Um, several months ago, the ladies from church had put together some homeless packages. And 
basically what is in them is toiletries, there are uh, deodorant, there's mints, there is wipes, there's soap, there's band-aids, there are socks, there are a hand sanitizer, uh, feminine products are in there, hair ties, just a whole like plethora of things that we put in those care packages. And kind of the purpose of that is if you see someone who is homeless or perhaps temporarily displaced or something like that, then you could give them one of these care packages so they have a little bit of something um, to, you know, to bathe with, things like that. It's, it's difficult and lots of people have lots of different views on the homeless and how they should be taken care of or treated or dealt with and um, we're just choosing to show some love and compassion and so Marvin's gonna pass those out while he's doing the youth homeless count tonight. I think it's a fantastic thing, but I did not go to the training. Literally, the camera just shut off for no reason. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe I didn't even record any of that. Ah, dang. Well, let me, let me show you the homeless care packages that we put together. So the gals from church and I had put together several of these back months ago. They include things like a toothbrush and Kleenex, socks, little snack crackers, band-aids, wipes, uh, water bottle, uh, feminine products, deodorant, bars of soap. Just little packages of everyday items that you don't really think about not having access to if you're not homeless. So we put those together and I know a lot of different people will have a lot of different views about how you deal with the homeless and what we can do to improve, you know, that situation. But for us right now, we're just focusing on some compassion care packages and Marvin's going to deliver those tonight. He's doing a youth homeless count and I forget what age that they are going to. And I don't even, I really don't know what it's for either, to be honest. But he's going tonight to do that. And I'm super proud of him for being involved. I didn't, I didn't, what? You know what? I don't even know why I'm not, I'm not involved, but he's gonna go do this with some folks. And I'm like, yeah, baby, go do it. I helped him make the care packages that, um, that's not part of it. He's just taking that just to show some compassion. So he is gonna take that tonight with him. And um, yeah, I think it's gonna be an awesome time for him. He really has a heart for the homeless and the hungry, so um, anything that we can do like this, you know, is awesome, I think. And tonight, I will be, I don't know what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna probably be finishing up whatever I didn't get done today, but I'm really trying hard to be super productive in the time that I allot to getting things organized. And I still have stuff in storage, it's very frustrating for me because I'd like to be all unpacked but also um, I don't have a million dollars and it's like, oh, I need a basket for there. or Oh, I need this for that. So I've adjusted my budget to include some monies for like home decor each pay cycle that we, uh, that we do. That's a whole, budgeting is a whole nother story y'all. But anyway, so I am doing that. I'm setting aside some money so that way I feel like I can make some purchases without it being, um, what do you call it? Like a, without it being necessarily a, I'm probably gonna have to edit this like really weird because I keep like going off on these tangents of discussion, which maybe you'll find interesting. I don't know, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to work now and get some of this other stuff done. And then tonight we can chat some more. And then if I go show houses, you can come with me. Y'all, I forgot the camera. I know there's a fly in here. I forgot the camera or almost forgot it. There's a fly in the house. Yeah, I know. I don't see it otherwise, it, oh, I see it. I gotta try to kill it, sorry. Love you guys, see you later. Alligators, be good. I recently saw a meme that was asking like, do you talk to your cats or do you say goodbye to them? Or yeah, I do. Almost, I mean, every day. I was gonna say almost every day, but really every day. <laughs> I'm always like, hey guys, behave. Don't get into trouble. Don't claw the furniture. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Some people have asked me, Lisa, why are you wearing a sweater? 
in you know at the start of Texas summer and it's because when you're inside of a building or a home or an office or whatever wherever you are they have air conditioning and it's almost always on the chillier side for me so and I don't like to be chilly so I always wear a sweater there's a car parked right over there truck actually parked over there I'm like what are you doing it's like they're just talking to someone but you're kind of near my house <laughs> what you doing do you ever get like that like um, there used to be a show, I can't think of the neighbor's name, but like the neighbor was always like nosy. Uh, I want to say <laughs> Miss Ratchet, but I don't think that's what the name of the neighbor was. I don't remember. Now I'm going to have to Google it. Quick bump, as per usual. There's the coffee shop. I hope they're open. It doesn't say that they're open. You know what, you guys? They're not even open. They don't... They're open Wednesday through um, Sunday. <sighs> oh well, I was gonna try. Hey y'all and welcome to Hot Chocolate Chat. Today I'm drinking a hot chocolate from Starbucks. I went by Bear Cave Coffee, but they're not open on Monday, so Starbucks it is. I wanna know, what do you do when you're talking with someone that has like a little bit of a language barrier and you've already asked them like, like what did you say and then they said it again and then he didn't understand what they said so now I'm sorry I'm sorry what did you say so they say it again and then you still don't know what they said and then you're like I legit had I don't know we're, we're in line at Starbucks I have I don't know what you just said and I've already asked you twice what you said. And then I, you said something and I think it's a question because you keep looking at me like I'm supposed to respond. And and we're inside Tom Thumb and all I can think of is like, I like carrots. I don't know, I don't know how to respond when I don't know what you said. And I feel super bad because I'm like, I've already asked twice. And I still, I still, mm -mm. I, uh. and yes, I was trying to use context clues but it was just like, oh, hey, how's your day going? And then they said, you know, blah, blah, blah. And so I assumed that that was like a, like, you know, great or whatever. They didn't say great. It was just like a normal response. And then I, I made it like a, oh, we've had some crazy weather lately. <laughs> but I'd already said like, hey, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> crazy weather we're having lately, huh? I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what did you say? I like raw carrots. <laughs> I don't know what you said. So then I really, I didn't know what they said. I'd already asked them twice. And then I was just like, it's so loud in here. I just, I couldn't hear you. Liar. So not to leave you hanging, but there's no like, the ending's very anticlimactic. They were just like, oh. <laughs> and they started laughing and I grabbed my drink and I left. So what would you do? What would you say? I, this was not a language that I could have like even really tried to fake my way through. Here's what happened in an episode of while you were gone, while I was gone. So I went and showed a house just now to Kennedy, our granddaughter, and she wants the house. So now I've got to quickly try to write an offer because highest and best is two by five and it's like 4.30. So um, that will be fun. <laughs> and I'm, I'm spilling water in my car. All right, it's later in the day. And today I didn't, I, you know, like you feel like it was productive, but it wasn't, but it was. That's what today has been in a nutshell. So I'm home and Marvin is out doing his volunteer stuff and I'm not sure what time he'll be home. I don't think they get done doing whatever until like 11. He's normally in bed like nine, nine thirty. So he's gonna be tired tomorrow. He took a nap as soon as he got home and we just heated up some dinner. We had leftovers from yesterday, La Casa Casserole. I made the Smokies wrapped in bacon, so we also had that to munch on. And yeah, so I'm home by myself right now. And I'm just editing videos, and I'm editing a video. And I'm checking Wing Moms right now because I'm feeling a little tired. And so I thought if I start to get too sleepy, then I need to make sure that I have all of my stuff done so that way it's not gonna be like a deal if I fall asleep or if I, whatever. And then um, 
My granddaughter wants to put in an offer on, an, on a house which is fantastic. So I need to start writing that up because I want to send that to her so she has time to review it, see if she has any additional questions because this will be her first house. So that's super exciting, but I'm sure it's super stressful for her as well. So I need to do that. I need to feed the cats. It's late, it's 8.22. The cats have normally been fed by now. I, I ate too much today, guys. And I keep saying like I'm gonna get, I'm getting cat food. I keep saying that I'm gonna get back on track with stuff, which, my eating in particular, which I want to, but I haven't. And so I need to get back on track with my eating. I have not consistently, and consistency is the key, of course. I need to get into the habit of going, at least for like some sort of physical activity every day, whether it be walking around City Lake Park, which is right over here, or something like that. Just need to really focus on my health, you know? Yellow, but also yellow. And I can't take for granted my health and think it's always gonna be the way that it is. Blech. Cat food. Actually, this doesn't smell that bad. <laughs> I've smelled worse cat food where it's like, Blech. you know, like really gross. You guys hungry? Oh, he is hungry. Normally to feed the cats, I just give them a small can of cat food, just like the little tiny one, and I split it in half. So in effect, they probably get, I don't know how much comes in like the larger, like tuna size can of cat food. I'm not sure how much comes in that one, but they get two of the small ones, which I think is the same as one big one, and they split. So they only eat like half a can a day. They eat half a can of the small one in the morning and half a can of the small one at night. So if you add this up, that's just one small can per cat. And I think there's two cans, small cans in a bigger can. I could be wrong. I could be totally off on that. And then I leave them kibble out all day long and I just give them Meow Mix, the kitten, uh, formula and then I give them Purina One kitten formula. I just mix those together in just a container and that's what I feed them or just leave out for free feeding all day long. So and um, then I clean my cat box in the morning and at night. So that's how I take care of my cats. But they didn't get fed yet so I need to feed them and I've got it in this dish. Sometimes I add a little bit of water to the cat food, even though it's wet food and it does you know contain water. Sometimes I add a little bit of wet I had a little bit of wet. I had a little bit of water to make kind of like a gravy kind of thing. And sometimes they like it, sometimes they don't. Yes. Come on. Come on. And then as far as water goes, I just, I give them tap water. Marvin, he busts out the filtered water. Which is fine, I'm all for spoiling the cats. I don't mind at all. So what I'm gonna do now is um, I'm gonna go take off my makeup and I'm going, going to go into you. I'm going to go and finish posting for Wing Moms. I think I have all but like two posts to do. So I'm gonna take a look at the next like three or four days and see what I need to post. And then I'm gonna call it a night. Well, I'm gonna work on the offer really quick. It won't take me that long at all. And then I'm gonna call it a night because Mama's tired. And I've got several events and activities over the next several days that I'm gonna be involved in. So I need to make sure I get some rest time. So I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching and I do appreciate it. And I'm getting a little bit better about uploading. I'm getting some more videos uploaded and ready to go, so that's fun. And if you're not following my Instagram, check me out over there because I do Insta stories and stuff like that, so it's kind of fun too. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, be kind to others. I was reading some comments on a Facebook group. I don't even want to get into it, but I'm like, it just hurts my heart where people are not accepting and loving towards each other. It's just kind of like, golly. But anyway, don't forget, be kind to others, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.